everybody, you're listening to The Remarkable Republican, and today we are going to be talking about the five greatest American presidents. I'm going to rank them from fifth to first, and keep in mind that I said American president and not U.S. president. That will come into play later. Number five is George W. Bush. He kept us safe after 9-11, which was the greatest challenge any president has faced in modern history. And he also revamped our foreign policy to make sure that we remain safe and strong in the world. Although he didn't go as far as he could have, he did take some really important steps and he overcame a lot of very harsh opposition from Nancy Pelosi and others. So for that, I rank him our fifth greatest president. Number four is the man who is synonymous with the Roaring Twenties, Calvin Coolidge. He is the first person to actually try to practice the idea that the government which governs least governs best. And for that, I think that he deserves a place on this list. He was the closest thing we've ever had to an actual libertarian president, and under his reign, we did very well. So I think that that should show a path forward for future aspirants to the presidency. The third greatest president in American history is George Washington. He helped America become independent by winning the Revolutionary War, and then he went on to set a lot of important precedents in the Oval Office. He went on to develop our first foreign policy, make our first cabinet, do all of the things that a president is expected to do. So for his trailblazing efforts and his success at getting America on its feet for the first time, George Washington is our third greatest president. Our second greatest president is Ronald Reagan, the Gipper. Now, many people will probably be disappointed that he's not number one, but in fact, there is somebody better. Now, Reagan, he is a guy who restored American greatness and American values at a time when liberals had controlled America for 50 years. So, Reagan is the refounder of America, and I think that his task at refounding American values after they've been corrupted it was actually harder than Washington's task of establishing American values on a blank slate. And that's why I ranked Reagan above Washington. However, as I said, there's still one person who did a better job than Ronald Reagan. The greatest president in American history, number one on my list, is Jefferson Davis. Now, you might say, well, he was not a U.S. president. He was the Confederate president. Yes, but he's still an American president. Now, the reason why he's the greatest is because his wartime leadership was brilliant. Look at how many battles the Confederacy won versus the Union. He did a great job of balancing out all of the disparate pressures that he faced as the first president of the Confederacy. And most of all, the reason why you have to respect Jefferson Davis is because he was an idealist. He knew that the North was not following the Constitution and that the only way to defend the rights of the South and of people in the South was to create a new country which would respect people in the South and respect the Constitution, respect individual rights, respect property. So Jefferson Davis, although he ended up being on the losing side, he did as well as he possibly could have. Without him, the Confederacy would have folded within 12 months, but he kept the war going for four or five years. It was mostly because of his leadership, more than any other factor, that the Confederacy was able to gel together and put up a fight against the much stronger northern states. This has been Remarkable Republican, bringing you truth with truth-flavored bias, signing out.